everything that and i'm going to click move inside to show you how to fix brake pad and brake shoes in your car so it says to me as one has already been here this week we are on great issue and this is the honda we are going to rent tenants so that we want to check all the brake parts we are going to show you something about brake caliper we have two different types of brake caliper which is protein brake caliper and then sliding brake caliper so on this video we are going to show you how to fix brake part of the car that is brake protein brake so let's check the video and learn it how we are going to do it it's step by step procedure but we are going to get it right so this is Eric Hot Center and if you need to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button don't forget to share the video and I mean let's go viral for people to check that button so let's get into the video Yeah, this is a sliding brake caliper. We have a new brake pad here. If you are going to install it, and before you do that, you have to get 12 bus panel in the ratchet. And you know, this type of caliper is not like the other one you push, but this is unlike a floating caliper. So, we are going to use this or any tool that you can able to tie the piston to so let's let's remove the caliper then you see so first of all you have to bring this socket down this is the antelope base system component actuator make sure you have removed the socket safely for it to cause damage and i have my work here so i have to remove this boot first which if it is that be a long video because steps to fix this brake is unlike the other brake system so yes you like stay tuned and watch the video to end we are going to the next option which is the brake system this is how it is so this is the sliding brake caliper which is unlike the other floating brake so we are going to tight it inside which sometimes the left side goes to left and the right side goes to left. So you take note when you're about to tighten it and it's pulling up, you have to change the position to the other way. So the brake has completely worn out, and this also requires to stick it brake. Don't forget, I do mention all this thing all the time. So you are going to do a replacement. By doing that, you have to open the nipple so that the brake the nipple brakes to come out so that we are going to all time this is where you are allowed to watch it carefully for you to know so i didn't do want to charge you for any money so i'm going to show you how to do it yourself wherever you are so the first thing you have to get is a nose plier and this yeah so after you insert your nose ply set it and get it in the two things and then just tight it you push it and you tight push it and you tight and it's going inside bit by bit you have to apply a little bit of force so that you can go easily so it is very difficult to fix sliding brake caliper unlike the floating ones so take note about it if you know you can't do it don't hesitate to send the car to your local garage for safety precautions else you might end up damage a lot of things very simple but here are like Car to all advanced cars, so make sure you can also do it. And 